This is going to be a quick demonstration video on the 45L modeling and how to input some of the specific items uh, relating to the HERS measures. So what we have here is the 45L modeling input form and it's got a bunch of information on it and I'm just going to kind of walk through uh, where you can find some of these items. Um, so at the top here we have all of our project information and that's going to be entered at the top level of the building tree here. Uh, you can see you got your building name, documentation author, and location, bunch of information here. Uh, basically take the information that's here and put it here, and then also the project titles where you could put in the project name and address. All right, uh, so for insulation values, um, let me show you just a sample here. Uh, this is the wall. Um, we've got our area for the wall and the surface type, as well as the orientation, and here is where you can input the type of insulation so you can see here we have an R15 wall. If you need to add other items like added exterior insulation, rigid insulation would be inputted right here. Um, if you need to change the actual type of the wall, what you can do is go under the Import tab and select Wall. And then you can see here you have a bunch of different construction uh, selections here as well as uh, the assembly and what type of insulation. So if you need to change it maybe to different type of insulation, you can do that here. Uh, it's basically the same for the roofs and uh, floors as well. Um, you're inputting your area and the surface type, and then you can go in here again and edit different items. Um, if you have cool roof, uh, this is where you'd select the cool roof, and you can input the information here. If it has a radiant barrier in the attic, you can select that right here as well. Uh, for your windows, uh, you're going to input your area and the surface type, whether it's new or existing. And then under new fenestration here, we can select window performance. And we can input our U factor and SHGCs. We can also select if it's a window, door, skylight, and so on. Uh, the frame type can be selected here as well, whether you have metal, metal thermal break, or non-metal. All right, let's look at some of the HERS measures here. So, under the system tab, you can go under HERS credits. And here's where you can add all your different HERS measures. Um, you also can add whether it's a QII inspection for the insulation as well in this area. And for inputting a system, we would go under the general tab under systems here. And this is where we can put our system in. Uh, this is where you're going to put all your information in for the efficiency and the cooling and heating outputs. You also can select the type of system that it is. Uh, this one is just a general uh, forced air unit, so it's going to be a gas furnace, and it's central. Under the cooling tab, you can also input if you have an AC system. Uh, so here you can put your efficiency for the sear and ear, as well as the output for it. All right. I think that basically covers most of the inputs for doing the 45L modeling. Uh, if you're also new to Energy Pro, one thing we recommend is you can take a look under the contents here. And this is basically the Energy Pro Help Center. And it's basically a manual. And it'll walk you through a lot of really important information here. So if you haven't taken a look at this, uh, we definitely recommend taking a look at that. All right, thanks for watching the video. And uh, hope everyone finds this helpful. Thank you.